So someone posted, who knows, half of those social media influencers will probably return now that they've done their videos for that bag. <laughs> or sell them for double the price. Hmm. Interesting topic. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea and thank you for joining me in the Babe Cave. And today I am talking about this post I saw. So this is kind of a chatty video, but I will have eye candy discussing it as well. Someone posted on a Facebook group, not naming names, is it worth being patient to wait for a bag to go to the outlet? And it was a special edition bag that most likely will not get to the outlet because it sells out quickly. I understand that people watch handbag videos because they want to know what fits. They want to know if it's going to fit on their body. They're going to want to know the quality, the leather. So I personally watch a lot of videos on handbags before I even purchase a handbag. And sometimes I'm late to the game and because I can't buy every single coach bag, although I would love to. No. But reasonably, there's no way that I can buy all these $300, $600, $1,000 coach bags on rotation. So for me, I have a lot of thought process going through if I'm actually going to wear the bag. Is it worth it? Is the quality worth it? Is the style going to fit across, you know, my chest or my arm? You know, the questions you all ask yourself when you're buying your bag that you want. Well, this one's a special edition, so I am kind of offended. I hope that you all don't view me in this same way where you think that I'm buying a bag and then I'm returning it because I've done a video because that is not how I roll I buy bags because I've, I'm a bag lover, a handbag addict, whatever you want to call it, collector. <laughs> so for me, these purchases is something that I've done for years and years, even before I started YouTube. And I, if I try out a bag and it's, you know, 300, 600, 1,000, I mean, those bags are still in my collection because I have usually waited quite a long time because I don't like to spend money that I think is not going to work for what I like. So <clears throat> here's an example. I waited for the longest time on this quilted pillow Madison because I didn't know if it would be worth it for me to spend over, was it 400 or 395 whatever the price was originally for these. And I knew by all the videos that I watched, and I still believe that this is excellent quality, soft Napa leather, but I waited. I am one of those that want to think everything through. I'm a budgeter, I'm a planner. Now, sometimes I have impulse purchases, but those are only on lower dollar values, not high purchases like a Louis Vuitton or some of these coach bags are are not cheap <laughs> at least not to me you know so I waited and this happened to go on a sale and then after probably six eight months of reviewing videos I bought it and I still have it in my collection <laughs> and uh, same thing with my most recent video of my coach denim soft tabby I saw this a year ago. I loved it then. <laughs> I even saw it go on sale. Did not buy it. So this year I saw it on the Facebook group. Someone said it was available on Neiman Marcus. I said, you know what? I've wanted it for a year <laughs> and I've watched a thousand videos on it. I'm going to get it this year. <laughs> so this, this was not a purchase that I bought because everyone loves denim right now. And 
I have loved this bag for a year. <laughs> Another example. I don't know if many of you are Dooney and Burke fans, but a few years back, I don't know what year it was, they had these Cameron bags, but they were offering, and I've never seen these come up ever again, um, these guitar straps. The Dooney and Burke guitar straps. So I still have this, you know, I don't wear this color that often. So I kind of wish I wouldn't have waited so long because they had a lot of colors. <laughs> By the time I got it, it was on major sale for this bag. And I got this with the guitar strap for $74. I have the receipt in the bag. <laughs> so sometimes I do wait quite a while maybe hoping for a sale this was lucky because they sold out pretty quick after and you're right on this example i have seen those guitar straps selling for three hundred dollars you know for people wanting to get their hands on it so if that's what they were talking about doubling or you know the price that they bought it for but i obviously did not sell mine i'm keeping it and I enjoy that strap a lot. So I have heard of people buying for cheap and obviously reselling. But for my channel, that's not what I do. I just enjoy handbags and I wear them. Some of them I get more wear, some of them I don't. <laughs> but they're my collection and to me, they're, they're valuable. And I don't want to just do a video because it's the trend right now. Another example of a bag that I still have not got is the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. And I've seen a color that I'm eyeing in leather and in a different size that I tried one before and I never showed you all. It was, uh, I think in candy pink and it was in the, I don't know if it's the mini size now, I returned it. I didn't even show it. I was like, oh, this is much smaller. I just didn't feel comfortable with the size. So in that case, I did return the bag. I didn't even show a video on it. And then, you know, there's another example of I wait and I want to <laughs> make sure I have the money for the bag. Or, you know, if I'm using Klarna, I want to get that paid off quickly in a firm. So for me, I am a procrastinator when it comes to buying straight out of the gate. I mean, I'm, I might find some things quick and really love them and so glad that I got them before they sold out. Like, for instance, this is the Morgan bag in the Mint and Surf graffiti print. And they did this at the boutique and I loved the print and it was on the bandit well i've since then went in the store and felt a bandit bandit <laughs> and it is so stiff and has that big coin inside that i don't think it would work out for me if i would have bought that bag and it was probably six hundred dollars so when this one popped up the morgan i almost ran to it because i already knew last year i loved this print and I love the silver hardware. So I probably paid maybe, what, 120 or 40 I don't know. I can't remember. I just want you all to know that I don't buy bags because I need to be the first one to do a video on it. Because typically I'm not. <laughs> I, I sometimes buy bags much later if they pop up again. Or I might buy them on the secondary market if I trust the authenticity of it. And when I do, if a bag doesn't work out for me, like I've had a Coach Ergo and it was a big size hobo and I listed it for sale because it was just too big. It was giant under my arm. I didn't, I didn't like it. <laughs> so I did sell it and I paid probably $160 for it and I sold it for 200 but then there were Poshmark fees. So I basically got my money back. There was no doubling or tripling my money. I just wanted it to, to be gone because I'm not gonna ever use it. 
So I just want to know, have you got this opinion of, of me? This is just me. Like, I don't, you know, speak for other YouTubers and what they purchase or how they come about a purchase. Some of them, I think, are impulse purchasers. And that's just not me. I am a thinker. I want to weigh all the pros and cons. And that's just how I roll. <laughs> so I don't buy bags to do videos and then return them. Now, if there's a defect, well, that's different. Everyone has the right to, if there's stitching's wrong or if something's not lined up, that makes sense. Return away. <laughs> but... I just want to be upfront and honest about how I do things on my channel. And I have a collection. I mean, this is just one of my racks. I mean, I have two on both sides of me. <laughs> and they're pretty full. So, yeah, I am a collector. And I don't sell for double the price. And I don't buy a bag because I want to do a video for views. Because <laughs> a lot of mine don't get thousands of views so I just wanted to be transparent and let me know if you've heard of this or if you've had feelings like that some people do that I mean I don't want to call anyone out that is not what this is about I'm just addressing those specific comments because I don't do that <laughs> and so I want you all to know that so thank you I'm, I hoped you liked my eye candy that I showed, but uh, I just uh, thank you all for coming over and watching my channel and subscribing. If you haven't done it already, I talk about handbags. Yes, a handbag collector, hoarder, whatever you want to call it. No, I'm not a hoarder. But thank you again for the new subscribers for coming over, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.